Have you ever listened to a song that was so relevant to what was going on in your life? Did your mind replay the lyrics in your head, trying to make sense of what, to make understanding of what they meant? It's happened to me. That song was called Helena by My Chemical Romance. After that song, my life changed, and today I'm going to tell you about that life-changing band. My Chemical Romance is a rock band from New Jersey. <laughs> They have five members, Gerard Way, the vocals, oh. Mikey Way, the bass player, and Gerard's younger brother, Frank, er, Ray Toro, the lead guitarist. <laughs> He's got a crazy fro, you guys, so, yeah. Um, Bob Breyer, the drummer. <laughs> it like a drum? <laughs> and Frank Aier, the rhythm guitarist. <laughs> These five guys have changed the lives of thousands, if not millions of people of all ages. I've talked to my chemical romance fans from the ages of 12 to older than Mr. Whiting. That's, That's old. old. <laughs> Shocking as that may be, the guys of MCR range in age as well, the oldest being Gerard, who turns 32 on April 9th, and the youngest being Frank, who's only 27. Their music and lyrics that tied the generations together deal with mutual experiences we've all dealt with in one way or another. Death, drug abuse, and more rather unpleasant concepts. But they always send out the message about how to move on and stay on the right path. My Chemical Romance started after Gerard Way witnessed a horrific scene of the World Trade Center crashing on September 11th, 2001. At the time, Gerard was a struggling comic book artist, but after this event, he decided to do something that might impact the world. He wrote and recorded Skylines and Turnstiles, which was about the 9-11 attacks. Ray Toro and Matt Plessier, mutual friends of his, then joined the band. They recorded the Attic demos. Gerard's younger brother, Mikey, loved the demos so much he quit college and played, for, played bass for the band that might not succeed. The band then joined Eyeball Records and recorded their first CD, I Brought You My Bullets, You Brought Me Your Love, in 2002. Although in 2004, Matt Pelliser left the band as the band's drummer, and they were now drummerless. They were close to releasing their second CD, Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge, when Bob Breyer decided to join the band as their drummer. Before Bob was officially part of the band, though, they started recording their music video for their, for their first single, I'm Not Okay, I Promise. In 2005, Kalina became their second single. It was one of, the mo one of the most emotional videos that the Way Brothers have ever uh, recorded because the song is about Gerard and Mikey's grandmother who passed away just before the record was released. In 2006, Mike Hem released their third and most recent album, The Black Parade. <laughs> this CD shocked older fans and brought in new fans. The CD was completely different from their old stuff. It was about life and how there's a life after death, unlike just drug abuse and killing people. Not to mention that their lyrics really did send out a message that despite how ugly things can get, beauty can still be found, and that no one should be afraid of living or being alone. I am not afraid to keep on living. I am not afraid to walk this world alone. Those are the lyrics from their song, Famous Last Words. Those lyrics are probably the most inspirational lyrics off that CD. The first two videos they shot were Welcome to the Black Parade and Famous Last Words. During the making of Famous Last Words, Gerard and Bob were injured. Gerard had torn, multi had torn multiple ligaments in his knee and Bob burned his leg and caught staph infection. Still, they both bounced back and dealt with whatever pain they were in. Now imagine this. You're in uh, at William and Mary College, and you see me. You'd probably think I was just sitting down, just being me, quiet and everything. But if you were there, you would have seen me bouncing in my seat, literally screaming before the band even came out onto stage. When they did come out on stage, I lost it. I almost passed out from complete and utter amazement that my heroes, the guys who had, been, who had given me hope for so many years, were in front of me, on stage, doing what they do best. 
It was one of the few moments where I actually felt like I belonged. That's one of the things that they did for me. All my life, I always felt like an outcast. I felt like I didn't belong anywhere. But when, I, when I'm at one of their concerts, that feeling completely disappears. And that's the place where I belong. Recently, the band left their hiatus and returned to the world, in a sense. They recorded a cover song, Desolation Row, for the movie Watchmen. Maybe some of you have seen it. They also left their homes in New Jersey and for Bob Chicago and temporarily moved to Los Angeles while recording their new record. I am absolutely excited about it. Like, you don't even know. <laughs> like, I know it's going to be like another record for their deserved success. 